Hey everyone and welcome back. If you are new here then hello, my name is Zoe and this is my YouTube channel. Today's makeup tutorial is just a little bit different, which is why I am already in a full face of makeup. Wanted to do like just a close up of my eye makeup. I don't know whether you're going to like these kind of videos, but please let me know if you do down in the comments and I'll do more. My base a lot of the time is pretty much the same, so today I've done my full coverage foundation routine, which I will leave here. And yeah, we're just doing a close up on the eyes. So give it a thumbs up if you do like it. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is use the P. Louise base just to carve out my brow and then I'm gonna apply this all over my lid to act as my eyeshadow primer. And I use the shade two in this, which is Rumour. But once I've gone underneath my brow, I'm just gonna tap a little bit over my lid. I have already got a little bit of concealer on there from when I've done my base makeup, so I'm not applying too much. So the palette that I'm gonna be using today is the Manny MUA Lives of Drag Palette. I absolutely love this palette. First one that I'm gonna go in with is Sickening. I'm taking this on a nice fluffy brush and I'm blending this into my crease. This is going to be my transition shade so I'm just going to go back and forth and then I'm also going to kind of bring it out towards the tail of my brow as well because I am going to wing this out and I'm just going to keep building this up until I have it how I want it. Sometimes I even go past that and then blend it back towards my hairline. I just really like a nice winged out effect. Okay so next I'm taking Mog and I'm just going to create a little bit more definition with this so keeping this towards the outer corner mainly so I'm just going to blend this in my outer crease up into that transition shade and then when I haven't got anything left on my brush then I bring it in just so you can't really see where it stops or starts and I'm going to pop this on my outer lid as well and then again just flick it up just wing it out a little bit into that shadow. Always remember it's easier to build up than take away so always start slowly. I just always keep on adding like little bits at a time and I find it so much easier that way. The pop of shimmer on my lid I'm going to use Beat which is such a beautiful champagne colour. I'm just going to pack this on the inner part of my lid and then I kind of just taper it out just past my pupil. I'm also going to come in right to the inner corner with this as well as my highlight. I'm applying a little bit more of Mug just to deepen this outer corner. And I like to come down on an angle because I feel like that gives the most flattering shape. And it's gonna help when we do our winged eyeliner a little bit later on. Okay, so for pigment for the lid, I want to use like a nice champagne -y gold. So I'm going to use Nude pigment from peaches and cream this is so beautiful and then to apply it i'm going to use the next glitter glue which is what i always use to apply my glitters and pigments okay so first for the glitter glue i'm literally just tapping a bit of this all over where we applied that shimmery shade before and also to the inner corner as well okay so picking up the pigment and just tapping this all over and it's absolutely stunning they add such an amazing pop to your makeup. I hardly ever do my makeup now and not use a pigment. Again, just taking a bit of Mog and just tapering this over the edge, help them blend a little bit. And then I'm also using a little bit of Sickening, which is the very first one we used. So it creates a little bit more of an ombre effect and just blends a little bit better. Next, I'm gonna apply a, just a slightly more gold shade of pigment. This is from Primark, just to make the very center pop a little bit more. Okay, next it's time for winged eyeliner. So I'm going to use the Selfie Flick liquid eyeliner. Okay, so now it's time for mascara and I'm just using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then it is time for lashes and I'm using the uh, Coco Lashes Tees. I do just do one last sweep of liquid liner just over the bands just to hide any glue. Okay, so now for my under eyes, I'm just gonna quickly line my waterline with the MAC Costa Rica pencil. I'm gonna line my top and lower waterline with this. Okay, then back into shadows and I'm just taking Mug, pressing this right into my lash line and I want it most heavy sort of on this outer corner. Then I'm going to taper it into the inner corner again so there's no harsh lines. And then we are going to 
buff this out after. Okay, and then underneath, I'm just buffing Sickening just to diffuse this line a little bit. And I also like to blend my shadow down quite far because I have really bad under eye creases. So I feel like this disguises them a little bit. Okay, now it's time for some button mascara. So let's finish off this makeup look. I'm gonna use the MUA the Makeup Academy Shimmer Highlight Powder in Radiant Cashmere. This is also a really nice like champagne-y highlight, it's really pretty. For lips, I wanna do quite a pale nude, so I'm gonna use the NYX Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Peekaboo, but this is an old NYX liner, so I'm not sure whether they do the same anymore. Might be called something else now. And then for the centre, I'm going to use this matte lipstick. This is from Primark and it's called Naked Flame. And I absolutely love their matte lipsticks. And they smell so nice as well. Okay guys, so that is today's Champagne Gold makeup tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like this kind of video and you want to see more, then please let me know down in the comments. If not, I will do more of my other tutorials. But I do really hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next week in my next one. Bye.